Welcome back everyone. In this lesson, we are going to be setting up camera follow. And this basically means that we have our camera following our player around. So no matter where we go, we can always have our player in the center of our screen. So here in Unity, what we want to do first of all is figure out how we are actually going to do this. Now, first of all, you may think we can just parent the camera to the player so that whenever it moves, the camera moves as well. Okay, well, let's try that out and see if it works. So I'm gonna get our camera and I'm gonna drag that into the player object as a child. Okay, so the camera is now a child and if we press play, we should be able to move our player around, right? Well, let's try it now and you'll see that when we move, our camera rotates as well with our player and that is not what we want. We don't want to pretty much be statically attached to our player like this, where we rotate and move with it. We only want to move with our player. So to unparent an object, we can select it, click and drag, and if we move it above player, you'll see there's this blue line that appears, okay? We can just let go, and it is now outside of the player. So what we need to do is create a new script down here in my scripts folder inside of the project browser. I'm gonna right click, create a new C sharp script called camera follow. Okay, camera follow right there. I'm gonna select the main camera and I'm gonna drag this script into the inspector to attach it as a component. We can then double click on camera follow to open it up inside of the uh, Visual Studio here. I'm gonna delete the start function since we don't need uh, the start function for this, we only need update. And we are gonna be creating two variables. First of all, we need to give this camera a target, okay? What object do we want to be following? So I'm gonna create a new public, and then we can enter in transform here. So a transform component, we're gonna be referencing uh, a transform component to follow. And I'm just gonna call this variable target like so. And also we need another variable, a public vector three, and this is going to be for the offset. Now, when we have the camera following the player, we don't want to be setting the camera's position to be directly the exact same as the player's, because what that will do is make it so that the camera is inside the player, and we, of course, do not want that. So we need an offset, which is going to be applied to that position uh, so that we have maintained a certain distance away from the player. So down here in update, what we want to do is set our position. So we'll go transform.position equals our target's position plus the offset. So here we can go target dot position plus offset. Okay, and that is it. Just one line of code inside the update function. We are setting our position right here to be equal to the target's position plus the offset vector applied to that. Okay, end off with a semicolon, save that script, return to the editor, and now what we can do is select our main camera You'll see down at the bottom here in the inspector, we have a target and an offset property. Target, we can drag in a transform and offset, we can enter in a new vector, very similar to how we have up here with position, rotation and scale. So for the target, I'm gonna click and drag our player game object into the target property like so. So now it is referencing our player's transform component. And for the offset, uh, let's just say the offset is zero on the X, We'll make it one on the Y and we'll make it something such as uh, negative 3.5 on the Z. So if we go up to our camera here and set it to zero, one, negative 3.5, this is more or less what we're gonna be getting, okay? Uh, let's maybe also add a bit of a rotation to the camera so we're looking down slightly on the player. So I'm gonna set the X rotation here to be about 15. Oh, we could probably make that about 20. And I'm gonna set the Y position up to be about uh, two. So there we go. We can then change that down here in the offset to two. So zero to negative 3.5. If we press play now, you should see that the camera is now following our player when we move around like so. Okay, we can jump, we can move, and the camera is always going to maintain this uh, offset away from the player's position. So there we go. That is how we can do a quick and easy uh, camera follow script inside of Unity. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next lesson.